Hey guys, and welcome to another podcast of Sound Supply. My name is Eric, product specialist here at TOA. Happy to be here. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Welcome, happy weekend. And uh, let's get this started. Before we get into it on today's topic, uh, just a reminder that we are releasing a podcast every week. Please make sure you're tuned in to our social media pages. And we're also doing a live webinar as well, which you can view on Facebook and Zoom every month. That's towards the end of the month, so please keep your eyes open for that. Okay, so let's begin here. Um, we have a brand new article from Avit Avixa, excuse me, that we'll be going over here. And um, it's basically going over virtual events and how in-person conferences, in-person events are now virtual. As we all know, I'm sure you guys have been to plenty of these and they typically tend to be one way. And what do I mean by one way? I mean that uh, everybody's at their own location and you're watching uh, somebody present and um, there tends to be a struggle with engagement. So, you know, there's the, the two way conversation that typically goes on at uh, person to person conferences or events isn't there. And we get that. It's not the same thing. So how do we make it as natural as possible to get that two-way conversation going or that two-way engagement going, you know, at all times or, or when it's necessary? So there's a couple key points here. And um, there was a large conference, I believe it was the Present Summit, that uh, attempted a new method. Um, basically what they did was they held a conference. They limited the uh, the maximum number of attendees to 200, and and the reason they did that was so they can break off into smaller groups. And this is a, a great idea. Instead of having one person talking to hundreds, thousands of people at one time, what you do is you split up, and you 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 uh, divvy up these groups to specific ideas or or, or classes or tutorials. Uh, with specialists. And this way, uh, let's say it's, it's a group, I believe they did groups of four people. Uh, so multiple groups, obviously. And this way you can have virtual engagement between the two where, you know, you have that one in one experience. You don't have that large where you're just a number uh, type deal. So this gives you that one on one learning experience. You can really dive deeper. Uh, and these are live. Uh, I believe that the both channels are opened up while they're doing this. So you can have a two way conversation. It's not too many people where there might be audio interference and things like that. So these worked very well, and they got great feedback from people based on this. Um, another idea is keeping the the presentation short. So and not you know not like a, a couple minutes here and there, but uh, they limited their idea to 35 minutes long which I think is is just about right. 30 minutes is probably a, a good idea there. Once you go beyond that and it's only a one-way conversation, people are going to A, log off, lose interest. So so the engagement here is key. And, and they want to make sure that people are constantly engaged. So what they did was they began with, you know, an introduction topic and then they broke, you know, they broke people off into groups. And another idea they did was offer a premium type package. So... Uh, they didn't go into too much detail, but from what I've read, um, they offered additional tickets or additional surcharge or package where uh, you can branch off into these special groups, which become exclusive. So you gain more information as a consumer by paying into it and having that one-on-one -on -one experience uh, with the professional at hand. This is a, another great way to A, keep interest, B, give value to your customers, and 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 see, um, you know, now the customer has something tangible here that they're paying into, uh, and they're they're getting additional information that the general public is not getting. So another great way to increase engagement, increase productivity, uh, increase revenue. So there's great ideas here. And this article, we'll post the article um, in the description below once we get this up for you guys. But 
you know, obviously the, the main key here when it comes to virtual meetings, when it comes to virtual conferences is trying to not become this one way thing where, um, you know, we're trying to, to recreate the, the in-person experience and, uh, right off the bat, it wasn't there. It was, people were not engaged. Uh, interest was becoming lost and you know, they, it's just, you know, you hear the same thing every day. It's just not the same thing. Well, yeah, we get that, but there's always ways to improve. And there's many companies out there exper uh, experimenting, especially like uh, our large conferences in our industry, like Infocom and, and you know, Vixa is getting involved here. Um, the summit, the, the presentation summit here that they're talking about, um, they're all experimenting with different ways to increase engagement. And that's the key here. So, um, you know, hopefully as time goes on, these these little tight conferences, these premiums that we're buying into where we're gaining insider information, um, these one-on-one -on -one type conferences, this two-way type communication idea, I hope it, 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 it keeps going in that direction. Um, obviously, you know, the in-person conferences where there's thousands and thousands of attendees just won't work on one single platform or one single room. It's got to be divvied up, kind of like when you're when you're you're going to a um, a trade show, for example, and you're stopping off at these booths. Well, these are like the branches that they're talking about, or at trade shows where there's uh, sub conferences going on, at, you know, in one location but in different meeting locations. That's what they're trying to recreate, and it's a, it's a great idea, and, and and we're getting there. We're getting to that point. So, I love the idea of of these premium packages when it comes to virtual events, these one-on-one -on -one type experiences or these smaller branch type groups. Uh, you know, it, it's the larger introductions are a great idea to get people on board, but then to branch off and to, you know, get people where they want to be, you know, um, give them what they want. They don't want to just sit there and listen to one thing. They signed up for a specific idea or presentation, get them in there. You know, get them into small groups, get them with the professional that knows what uh, that they're talking about based on those ideas or those those presentations or those topics that they want to discuss. So uh, we are going in the right direction. I, I, I love this article. I think it's great. It's it's, it's very educational. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll get closer to that in-person experience that we've been dying to get that we miss, you know, out there in the real world. So uh, I like where it's going. Again, very exciting technology and ideas, and, and, and we're all using these, these, these. There's different ways to kind of get us socially back to where we were, but from a distance. So it's, 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 it's cool stuff. We're getting there, and things are changing, and, um, you know, we're working with what we have. So the idea here of, of improving virtual meetings, especially on the larger level, is, is going to get very very interesting. Okay, guys. Well, thanks again for tuning in. Another week down. Um, we have an exciting webinar coming up. Uh, we're doing some great, great things with people out there in the industry. We're making some visits to installers. We're talking to people uh, all over the country. So please stay tuned. Um, there'll be some links below. Uh, keep an eye out on your inboxes. There'll be some information there regarding the webinar coming up. Again, podcasts every week. Sound Supply. Hopefully everybody's staying safe. Hang in there. It's going to get better. And, um, you know, I'm excited. I hope you're excited to not only the, uh, the event space, but, you know, audio in general and, uh, you know, where we're heading. So thanks, guys, for tuning in. Again, my name's Eric, product specialist here at TOA. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. We will see you next time. Take care.